welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing so I got this which probably are, you can't really tell what it is that's disappointing because typically you can tell this is a order that I placed with Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I placed this order and another order on the same day and then I have an order coming from Shane Dawson. I did an exchange. That's actually supposed to be here whenever the mail comes today. So this video might be three different setups, three different shirts. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm going to put them all together because that's what I had intended. Now, I am disappointed with how long this took to get to me and how long the other one is taking as well. So if you're interested to see what's in here and the other ones as they come in, just keep watching. Okay, so this particular box was actually delivered on... Okay, so I placed this order on May 22nd. On May 29th, the shipping label was created. Here's the thing about Jeffree Star stuff. You'll get an email, text, however you set it up, both, telling you your package has been shipped. Guess what? It hasn't. Nope. All they did was print a shipping label. That's it. So on May 29th, the shipping label was printed for this package. This did not get to the post office until June 8th. I understand that California is still under a major lockdown. I get it. Why are you printing my shipping label telling me that it's been shipped? Come on. Just don't. That's just not cool. It shouldn't tell me that it's been shipped until it's actually been shipped. So it was shipped on June 8th and then it made it from California to Georgia on June 11th when it was delivered. Okay, so let's just open it, check it out, see what's going on. Because it's been sitting here. And truthfully, I thought about opening it, then I was like, no, but then I got sick. And I just wanted to deal with it. Okay, so there it is. Didn't tell you nothing, does it? <laughs> I'm sure you guys already know what it is. So, once you move back the paper, I feel like there is hair on me. This is what you see. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I ordered these straws. This is the four piece reusable drinking straw set. Now, all of this is from the cremated launch. I was going to try to get them out. There we go. There we go. So you get, whoa, three of the curved straws. There's this matte black one, a like lighter gray, a silver, and a straight one that is white. I like metal straws. I currently have one in this drink that is sitting right beside you. I would show you. However, the cup has got the name of the company I work for. I'm just not putting that out. Okay, so here is the packaging for the cremated palette. Alrighty. There she is in all her glory. I do think that is cool with having the cremated, you know, as the cutout. And then there it is. Let's Open her up. It 
Isn't that just awesome? So this one is larger than I think his normal palette. It does come with a full size mirror, of course, but it is all of these gray, black, neutral tones. And if you know anything about me, I love gray. Um, it reminds me of concrete, which I have a weird fascination with. <laughs> But these have a lot of concrete colors. So what I think I want to do is just so I can keep this part of the video short since I'm going to put all three of the packages together is we're going to use this and swatch and everything in another video. So if you want to see that, just be on the lookout. It should be out. Hopefully very soon. And next, you'll see the next package that I received. So I wanted to tell you, I and I forgot originally, so we're just going to hop back on and do it again. So the straws that I showed you were $19.99. And the, and the cremated eyeshadow palette was $58.00. Shipping cross $13.99. Uh, I don't believe that. So this package was $97.50. Was it worth it? Y'all let me know. <laughs> okay guys, so as promised, I didn't promise him, but he's always here. How are you doing? Did you come to say hi? He's really a camera whore. There's you. I, okay, so the mail came. I didn't give him a package. Then I thought I heard them again and they brought my package. So this is, it says from Killer March. Is it safe for me? This is, so the original one, I didn't do an unboxing. I just opened it and wore it. So I did purchase this during quarantine. Um, I saw that Shane Dawson's, the windbreakers had been like restocked. And I knew when I bought it, it would be a while before it shipped. It's very clear on the site, so that was fine. So, I was looking at the sizing, and I was trying my best to get the correct size. So, originally, what is going on with my hair, guys? Originally, I got a medium. Now, the medium fit and was fine and everything, but, like, trying to get my arms out was a little tight, and then, like, just to go like this felt a little tight in the shoulder and I just didn't really want the jacket to fit that way so I didn't know how returns worked I mean ex returns or exchanges so all I did is I emailed them and then like real fast I got a response so that was pretty awesome so I paid for the shipping to send the medium back and that I didn't have to pay for them to send the new one. So that was cool. So I swapped the medium for a large. And I got the, what is it called? Shane Dawson Drama Windbreaker. Drama Windbreaker Black. Because there's a pink one and there's a black one. So I got the black one. And it's just... It has his, like, pig logo right there. And then on the sleeves, 
I believe. Yeah. So on the right sleeve, it has, can you see his name? I don't care. But it has a hood. So, yeah. And then it has a big pocket on the front. But I just wanted So I wanted like a light jacket. I mean, even though now it's like full-blown summer it feels like and we're starting to hit 90 degrees and I am always always hot so there's that but it does it's not as tight in here so there's a lot more room see this is one reason why I didn't want the large is because like I'm short so the sleeves are longer, but <laughs> it has a hood, which is cool because I thought, if nothing else, I carry my Yeti backpack to work every day, but I could like throw this in there and it can be squished up and it doesn't matter. Now I'm not dressed for this, okay? Let's throw it out of there. But, like, it's, like, this is long. Like, it's covering my butt. Like, and then it has these little things on the side where you can, like, cinch it in and whatnot. But it's a windbreaker. It reminds me of like um, Oakley. Oakley sunglasses came out with windbreakers and like everybody had one. Like that was the thing to have. I had a black one. <laughs> Everyone had like these blue and white and pink and whatnot. I had a black one. I really wish I still had that sucker regardless okay so this is package two of three that i'm expecting hey guys so as promised this is part three you know what it is this is the third and final package that i was expecting currently from jeffree star cosmetics so these items i purchased on may 22nd you hear anything come here come say hi you see him dylan he's always here oh please forgive me how i look uh i just got home from work for like 11 hours and i'm getting ready to go on the other side of this table and work out when i get done So, okay, we ordered this on May 22nd. May 24th, the label was printed. Three weeks and three days later, on June 11th, it was actually shipped. Come on, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. <laughs> Y'all gotta do better. I mean, it's... It didn't even take that long when you order all the mystery boxes. I mean, I get, in all fairness, I do get that we're on lockdown. I live in Georgia, so there, we were like one of the first to not be on lockdown anymore. So sometimes I forget, so please forgive me. That's what this little box looks like. Okay, you know what? This was not in the other box. The box where I actually got the cremated palette, this card wasn't in there. Go 
figure. That's ridiculous. Oh, good. And I have the receipt to tell us. Okay. So I got two. Two of the gloss. Let's start with this one. It is called Heaven's Gate. This one is from the Cremated Palette Launch. This is the only lip gloss that I got from that launch. I think there was one more. I was in such a hurry to place the order for the palette. I didn't scroll and look what all the, he had restocked, which I should know better than that. So, it has the white packaging and then see how shiny that is? I'm going to pop up right here the swatch of it so you can see because since I'm getting ready to work out, I don't really want to put it on. Okay, so this one. He did mention that there was going to be another restock of the cremated palette because 420 stuff conspiracy so like i said i didn't scroll down which i should have because the last time i was able to snag up the conspiracy palette didn't even know that any were been restocked they didn't tell nobody and then um on this I know I'm keep it. And then on this one, there was a restock of these, of this gloss. I don't, I think that was all. I don't really know. Okay, so this is from The Conspiracy. This is Shane Dawson. I think that's what it's called. No, it's called Shane Glosson. <laughs> I know that. So there's the name. And it's the clear gloss. And then the packaging, the compo component is like a, it's like a metal gray color, which I really like. So I'm gonna try this and see if I like it because I know that he said he's restocking cremated, the conspiracy, which would include this and also include the root beer lip balm, which that one I really do want. And then I know he's supposed to have the new mini controversy with the green color in the center called Put It Back. So that would be cool. Uh, I'll also, I'll stick a picture up here of this so you can see. But this literally is just a clear gloss, which I am A-okay with. Okay, so each gloss was $18. I paid $6.67 for shipping. This little box. So my total was $45.23. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this three part video. Um, I'm going to go, uh, but just so you know, I have videos lined up, they're coming out. I took a break. Needed to refocus. Yeah, that's really, that's what happened. So I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like this video and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, the next giveaway is going to be at 1,000 subscribers. Just a heads up. So if you stuck around this long, now you know. Bye, guys.